This always happens. My hair was not working for me today, so I just put it up in a ponytail. I hope you don't mind, but let's go on with the video anyways. Hi guys, today I'm doing my GCC results video as it was requested by this guy and a couple of other people. So, I thought I'd do it for you, so please don't think I'm bragging or whatever. Get over that, of course I'm not bragging. Like, there's obviously going to be people that do better than you and obviously going to be people that do worse than you. And that's just how life works. Firstly, I'm going to tell you all of my results as a whole and then I'm going to do a breakdown if you're really interested in how many marks I got, the board I did, how I found the test even and yeah I'm just going to give you all the information you got and I've got all my papers here. Right let me start off, in total I got three A's, five B's and two C's and I'm actually really happy with that because it enabled me to get into the school I wanted to get into so, so in September I'm going to a new school which I'm nervous about but I I went to the taste today and I already made loads of friends there so it's it's fine really. So in art I got an A, in French I got a B, in geography I got an A, in biology I got a B, in chemistry I got a C, in English language I got a B, in English literature I got a B, in maths I got an A and in physics I got a B and then lastly and ICT I got a C. Right so I did IGCSE for English, Maths and Science and then I did GCSE for the rest of them. I was on Edexcel for everything except for Geography and ICT and now I'm going to do the breakdown of every subject. Right so as I'm looking at these results, um, the things that I wish I got more in, um, I was kind of hoping for an A star in Geography, Maths and Art purely because these are my favourite subjects and these are subjects I want to take for A level and I thought I did really well on the test but an A is perfectly fine and especially how I heard that this year's markers and examiners were more tougher, more harsh, that's what I heard and like these were the worst results they've ever had for GCC or something like that, I think I heard that on the news but don't take my word for it. But I'm really happy that I got a B in physics because I wanted to take that for A level but I never did well in the tests I always got like C's and D's but I worked really hard for that one so I'm happy I got a B and then English Lit um, I thought I failed that test I thought I got a D but I'm really happy I got a B and um, chemistry I was always bad at so I got a C and ICT the coursework and my school effed me up so I got a C in that Right, so the things I want to take for A level are physics, maths, art, and geography. I got A, 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 B for that, so I got into my school. Yeah, I'm just re really super happy about that. So right now I'm going to do the breakdown of what I got in each test. Okay, we'll start with maths and English, I guess. So in maths, I got 68 out of 100, so 68%. Um, in English Lit I got 59 out of 100 and English Language I got 61 out of 100. So obviously this year the grade boundaries were a bit lower but I'm not complaining because if it's a hard test then it's a hard test. So now I'm going to do the sciences. In biology I got 108 out of 180. Chemistry I got 87 and out of 180 so I got below 50%. Well done Angela. <laughs> Um, and in physics I got 94 out of 180. Now I'm going to do art, French, ICT and geography. So art and design I got 96 out of 120 for one book and then another book I got 65 out of 80. And then um, French listening I got an E because I've always been crap at listening because it was really annoying because I got A and A stars in my writing and speaking and shit like that but in my listening I got an E so I got 27 out of 60 which brought my grade down to a B otherwise I would have had like an A or A star and um, in my writing I got a 74 out of 90 in my reading and understanding I got 54 out of 60 so in total that came to 229 out of 300 in geography unit 1 I got an A star and I got 135 and then in geography unit 2 I got an A and I got 120 and in geography unit 3 I got a B and I got 73 and then in my geography coursework I got an A and I got 328 and I think this is UMS mark. Right so we're doing the last one and that is ICT. Oh my god I've got so many papers. Okay so in ICT I got a C in my coursework because the lady effed us up. 
and I got a B in my test, but it averaged out to a C overall. So yeah, that was my grades. I hope everyone watching this got the grades that they want to or will get the grades next year or have already got their grades and are going to the schools or at the schools that they want to be at and yeah right guys so that was my video make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you next time bye